calibrating thermistor for your DIY thermostat. So here you see my calibrated thermostat reading 78 degree Fahrenheit and it matches my electronic thermostat uh, which is reading 78.4 degree Fahrenheit. So let's calibrate. Hey what's up Nasir Malik here welcome to another IoT tutorial. Hey today we're gonna be working on calibrating thermistor. I'm gonna quickly go over how you hook up your uh, touchscreen LCD and that. Uh, so this is the diagram how to hook up uh, your touchscreen to the U USB to TTL converter and quickly upload the UI. And this is how you will hook up your uh, the uh, touchscreen to Vimos. And then this is how you would hook up your thermistor. So I'm using a 20, uh, 20K thermistor here and I have a 22K ohm resistor. They need to closely match, they don't have to be exact number. Uh, so basically if you look at it uh, one leg of the thermistor goes into the ground and the other one connects to the resistor and then the on the other side of the resistor gets connected 3.3 volts the center point of the resistor and the thermistor gets connected to your analog pin so any board that has an analog pin uh, the, uh, this one it only has one a0 so that's where I'm connecting it and this is pretty simple and straightforward. So what do I need to do is next take the uh, resistance on the room temperature. Uh, my a, uh, electronic thermostat reading 24 Celsius and it's in 19.7, I would say 70. So next I'm going to take my body temperature. I'm going to take it uh, on the palm. Um, that's more uh, warmth there. So I'm going to take it and it's a... Uh, 30.6 degrees Celsius. Now I'm going to hold the thermistor uh, in uh, both uh, palms and like make a sandwich and then wait until the uh, resistance stabilizes. Uh, once the resistance stabilizes uh, we're going to take that reading down. So I'll be back once. So we're almost there. It's 14.4443 and for two and we're gonna take it as call it four zero so now we're gonna do is uh, um calibrate it so first we're gonna calibrate it with ice so i got a couple ice cubes in the uh, ziploc bag and i'm taking the temperature off of it so it's about 7.5 7.8 point 8.3 .8 9 9.4 9 it's uh, let's see 7.3 celsius so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to wrap this around the thermistor so i'm going to sandwich it so i'm going to put one ice cube on the bottom and one on the top and hold it and then keep an eye on the um, your uh, uh, multimeter and uh, we're gonna wait until it really really slows down and or stops and we're gonna take that resistance uh, so let's see how long it's gonna take I'm gonna fast forward uh, the video and then I'll stop when it's uh, pretty slow when it slows down so we're almost there so we're gonna call it 59.40 so we're gonna go ahead one by one we'll enter these values so we'll start from here so the value we captured with the ice uh, was uh, uh, 59.4 uh, um, so I'm just gonna round it up and just put uh, 15 59 K kilo ohm and the temperature in we captured was 7.3 7.3 so next value we captured is uh, 19k and uh, for that the temperature we did 24 degree I'm gonna enter Celsius and for the last one we did uh, on the body temperature was uh, 14k and temperature was uh, 30 degrees Celsius or whatever yeah I'm just rounding it up so it's uh, close enough. So uh, so these are our uh, coefficient A, B, C. So these values we need to put it in our uh, sketch and upload it. 
So for me, these are the values I'm using. And if your values are different, you're gonna see slightly different uh, um, uh, temperature uh, on your uh, uh, screen right there. So once we calculate these, uh, what we need to do is we need to copy these values from here and put it on our sketch. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the value A and it's uh, E3. So for E3, uh, this is, let me just put comment in, this is E minus three, okay. Let me copy the other values also, and then we can do it all at once. So B value, we'll put it here. And I believe B is E4. And then we have C value, and that's E7 right here so C value copied and we're going to go ahead and put E7 uh, E3 means you move the decimal point to three places to the left so I'm gonna go ahead and add one two three four zeros so I'm going to count one two zero and three zero so I need to move it from here so I'm gonna count one zero two and three and I'll put this decimal point here and remove it from there simple as that and this is what it means so next what we're going to do is move the uh, second value and now it says e4 so we need to move it to four decimal places to the left. So I'm going to add more zeros here. So if we count one, two, three, four, and this is where it's going to be and remove this. So now this is seven. So I need to add a bunch of zeros and figure out where it's gonna end up. So I will count one, two, three, four, four five six seven so I'm gonna put it here and remove it from there that's it simple as that so we're done so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, upload this sketch to Vimos and see what our trimester is going to read um, if you don't get it right the first time uh, you need to just make sure that you uh, do it uh, in a control manner where you know um, the if if the your um, resistance still keeps moving and the temperature is not stable you probably won't get a accurate reading so try to make sure that when you do capture the values they're pretty stable so here we go I'm going to go ahead and upload this sketch and see what happens So it's uh, compiling this sketch and uh, I yes by the way uh, for the next tutorial that what are we gonna be doing uh, you guys can use relays to control the um, your HVAC okay it's connecting it's com uploading but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these DIY uh, opto coupler kind of thing to control um they're pretty small it is led and ldr in it and i heat shrink uh, uh that wire thingy on it and uh, it's uh, uh <clears throat> pretty good so instead of relays i'm going to be using this you guys can go ahead and still use relays that's fine okay so um yeah so you can see now uh it's reading uh 76 uh degrees fahrenheit um this room because i'm running a lot of stuff in here a little bit warmer and so it's showing a uh, temperature is above uh the rest of the house uh but if if it doesn't match with your uh home uh, thermostat uh, that means you, when you try to calibrate it uh using the resistance and uh, different temperature 
uh, there may be you need to redo it. Uh, maybe uh, when I tried it, uh, trial and errors because I didn't understand a couple of times. So it can be pretty uh, close to your um, thermostat. And one thing you can do is you can bring in, uh, unhook your thermostat and uh, put it next to it and let it come to the room temperature. And then once you calibrate it, you will know how off uh, for uh, your temperature is or you're pretty close last time when I did it uh, I was like right on the spot at 72 degrees so for the next uh, this is uh, the calibration that we did uh, uh, in the next few tutorials we'll try to uh, fine-tune it more uh, but this is the basic uh, calibration how you calibrate your thermistor so guys here you can see that my um, uh, touch screen LCD showing 78 degrees Fahrenheit and also my electronic uh, therm thermostat is showing 78.2 degrees I'm not printing in decimal but it's pretty close pretty accurate so and this is it for this tutorial and let me know what you like to see in the next tutorial uh, until next time bye